Hey, good morning everybody. This is John again from Volkswagen Planet and today we are going to do a continuation on the 1972 VW Super Beetle. This is a rewire job on how to rewire your car or if you had to replace a wire or um, don't know what a specific wire does or where it goes. We are following the VW wiring diagram straight out of Bentley magazine, um, publication, not magazine. But today we are going to work on part 14, fuse number 10. So for those of you who are just joining for the first time, we have done um, fuses 1 through 9. Today we are going to work on fuse 10. So if you want to check out those videos, please scroll back and uh, view them. We do. I try to do a video 1 on the diagram, which we're, gonna, which we're showing here. And the second, I try to do an on-car to show you guys where these wires are going so you're not as confused about what's going on and uh, so you understand that that these wires aren't you know, 35 40 feet long okay so we are on fuse number 10 let me get the uh, computer set here put the little magnifying glass on the fuse Okay, so we're going to start out right there. So automatically, we're starting to see a red fuse. The red fuse, if you guys remember, is a 16 amp. The white ones are 8. So let's let's start with the um, the front the uh, wires in front first. And uh, we we are showing a black with a yellow stripe wire. So let's. Take this first one first here. Let's just see what this wire does and where it goes to. And uh, once once I uh, find out where this wire goes, I'll tell you basically how uh, long this wire is. As you can tell just by looking at this wire so far, it looks like it's uh, you know three or four miles long, but that's not the actual case. It looks like this, uh, just from um, experience, I know that the yellow, that this wire should be going to either the turn signal or it's going to go to the um, ignition switch. So let's see where this thing ends up at and we will go from there. Okay, let's start out with the, the X. So this wire is going to go from the ignition switch, which is, um, if you look right under your, your ignition switch where you put the key in, there's going to be a five wire harness on this car, and it's going to loop around straight up right, right into the dashboard, right behind where the dashboard would be, and it's going to have a little hole. And that's where this wire is going to come out of. So this, this wire is not, you know, 25, 30 feet long. This wire is realistically under a foot. So it is the X, and we will show you on the car why we labeled the X. And um, it's pretty self-explanatory, but if you haven't followed us in the previous videos, all those, all these, um, these points, you know, like, um, let's see, 50, 15, the X, the 30, and the S uh, negative, I have labeled those. So when we get to the car, it'll make sense why when you start seeing the blue labels, so um, even even right now, it's still pretty handy and still comes in, um, you know, it, it just makes a lot of sense. So that's something that I did. I labeled those wires. So when I got to this point, I would understand, you know, the meaning of where these wires are going versus just trying to plug and play it. Okay, so let's get back to this, this particular um, black with a yellow stripe wire. So it is on an X and the, or location X that is off the ignition switch. And so we will do, we'll go and follow it back up to the fuse. Okay, we're seeing that it's a 4.0. And a 4.0, that's a millimeter measurement in Germany. And uh, if you switch it over to um, the US, which is gauge, it's a 12 gauge wire. It doesn't have to be a yellow and, you know, black and yellow wire. If you had to replace it, you know, just as long as it's a 12 gauge. But that's what the 4.0 means. That's, that's the gauge size of the wire, or in that situation, it's the millimeter size wire, but we need to switch it over here to the US, which would be 12 gauge, <clears throat> excuse me. And like I said, this wire, 
if you're looking at this, this diagram for the first time and don't understand what wire grams really do, this would be really, um, it'd be really uh, kind of terrifying because as long as this wire goes, you would think that, you know, it wraps around the whole entire car four or five times, but this wire is literally uh, under a foot long. And like I said before, it's going to come out right behind the ignition switch where you turn a key. There's going to be five wires behind there. And the uh, wires are going to come up through a hole and it's going to go right into the fuse number 10. And that's where we end up right here. Let this thing focus a little bit here. Okay, so <clears throat> that's going to be the first part of that wire. So in this situation, it does have another wire coming off the front. So let's find out where this particular wire goes. Again, it's a yellow, uh, it's a black with a yellow stripe wire. Let's see if I get this to focus in a little bit, guys. Hold on. There you go. Sorry about that. So again, it's a, it's a, it's the same color as the, uh, the wire that, that came off the ignition switch. And if you guys are starting to see a pattern, they do follow the uh, Volkswagen really does a pretty good job on following their their patterns like that. Okay, so we're coming across a, a number again. It's going to be the 4.0 because the 2.5 is going to be this wire. So we know just by looking at this, the 4.0 the 4 wire right there, again, is a 12 gauge wire. If uh, you don't have to remember this, if you look uh, down below in the uh, the bio, I'll have all the wiring diagrams, the amps, uh, sizes of the fuse, so you don't get confused or have to memorize all this stuff. So we're going to scroll over. Again, don't take these, you know, these diagrams for being, you know, like almost like life size because it's not. Remember, this whole entire diagram here is showing literally under the, the hood of the car. So there's no way that these wires could be really anything longer than maybe uh, three or four feet under the hood. Okay, so it's going to go, now if you remember off the X, this right here was the X off of the ignition switch. And you notice how the X comes off? I wanna say that this is the, the light switch. Yep, this is gonna be the light switch on the dashboard. So if you were to pull the light switch off, and if you know, let's say, here's where you would actually pull the lights to turn the headlights on. If you turn that off, if you pull that switch out, you're going to have these numbers here, the 80, the uh, 58B, or 50, well, let's see, 58B, 56, 58, 30, and the X. These are just going to be, these are stamped on the um, the switch itself. So if you pull the switch off, it's it's just literally just match up the wires to the um, the, the location, and that's it. So we're going to back up this uh, wire. So we're going to run across it again, 4.0, 12 gauge. If you don't, it said you don't have to memorize that. Just check the uh, if the bio below. And we're going to have all the conversion charts and all the um, stuff. So we just make it really easy for you. Well, I, I try to make it as, as easy as possible because I know when I first started doing this, I was so confused. But uh, for doing these videos and your support, I have really overcome the fear of doing this. So I want to say thank you again to everybody. Everybody who stuck with me since uh, even way before this project. I want to say thank you again, like I always do. Let's try to get this focused. There you go. So we're going to come back down. And that's going to basically take care of in front of the fuse. And what I mean by in front of the fuse, okay, if, uh, if you're looking at the car um, from inside the car, this is what you're going to see under the dashboard. You're going to see this fuse. These wires would be in front, meaning the in front of the fuse. Whoa. Sorry about that. So that, those would be in the trunk side, like going towards the front bumper. And that, that's what I mean by in front of the fuse. So we're going to come back down. We know that this is a 16 amp fuse because it's red. In this situation, VW only used two red fuses. So uh, let's start to see, let's just go see where the, um, these wires are gonna take us from here. Okay, so we're showing three wires coming off the back side of this. So the first one, 
let's see where this little wire goes. Okay. Bear with me here, guys. So, okay, so we're going to come across a 0.5 millimeter wire, and the conversion chart says that that's a 22 gauge. Like I said, it doesn't have to be black, but if you were to look at your 72, it will be black if it's original factory wiring harness. So we're going to scroll down. I don't know why this, today we're having a hard time with focusing here. Okay, now on this, on this particular um, fuse, or fuse, this particular wire, I'm going to explain a couple things that now that I've gone through this, I wouldn't have known this if I didn't uh, touch this on before. This, this uh, right here, if you look under your dashboard, this is the switch right here. There's a little tiny, like almost like a toggle switch, but it's like, like a little tiny push switch. Now what this is, is this is your rear defrogger, rear defogger switch. Now this little uh, covering here, it looks almost like a, um, like a spade, like a, like a, it's going to be a female. And what it's going to do is it's going to plug into this male post right here. But this right here is, is a plastic cover and it, it just slides right into this, um, uh, what's it called over the, the, uh, male, uh, post right there. So that's going to take care of that wire. Okay, so I'm going to focus back in there. Again, 0.5, which stands for millimeter in German. So that's a 22 gauge. And we're just going to back this wire up. And let's see if that, yep, so that's going to take us right back to, right back to the fuse. Again, that's a 16 amp fuse. It's red. Volkswagen has only used two fuel, well, I should say Volkswagen, but back in the air cool for the 72, VW only used the red and the white. The white is 8 amp and the red is a 16 amp fuse. All right, so uh, that takes care of that wire. So now we're going to look at a white wire with a black stripe. Let's see what this is going to, uh, where, this, where this wire is going to take us. Okay, so this is a 1.0 millimeter, which converts over to 18 gauge. All right, so this particular wire, if you, if you followed us from day one, or day one, since, since the beginning of this, um, wiring harness, uh, wiring series, we're, you guys are gonna, um, uh, whoops, you guys are gonna, um, remember seeing this particular wire connector. So what this is going to do is going to, it's going to hook into the, um, the front side of the wire connector. And let's, I'm going to show you where this wire, um, where this particular wire, come on, we're having a hard day focusing today. I guess it is Monday. So I guess it would be acceptable. So this wire is going to be a 1.0 millimeter. Now don't, don't um, really focus on this wire because we focused on this on, on one of the previous videos. Now this is going to come off the turn signal switch. Now this would be the 53A Apple, you know, and uh, this was the first wire that we dealt with on the turn signal, um, turn signal switch. So the turn signal switch wire came off the um, turn signal. Come on. So this wire takes us to the four uh, wire connector and that's where our wire in question would hook into the back side. And the reason I say back side because when the wire comes in here, this wire here plugs or this, this wire here is going to plug into the wire. And I'm just going to show you where this wire goes. Now this wire has absolutely nothing to do with the, the wiring diagram for today. But I want to just show you, just to uh, kind of refresh your memory, if you guys are following video to video, I'm going to show you where this video, where this wire goes, just to show you guys how all the wires start to uh, crisscross each other and actually tie in. So we're going to come up, and if you notice, if you guys remember what this thing was, this is the uh, windshield wiper motor, 
And remember how he had four or five different wires that hooked off of the um, uh, turn signal switch? And that's where all those wires are, are coming into play. So we're going to go back because we know. Okay, give me just a second, guys. Okay, so we were uh, we were over here with the uh, there we go. So let me put this in the middle of the screen here so we all can follow along. Okay, so like I was saying, this if you remember where all those four wires basically came off that those that four. Uh, wire connector and they all ran to the um, windshield wiper motor that's where this this particular wire is going to plug into the back side of that connector so that's the particular like I said this wire is going to come let me scroll down just a little bit more here guys okay so this wire is going to come off the fuse box and is going to come into the back of the wire connector. Now, when we show you the on car or in car, on car, whatever you like to call it, this is wire is literally going to be probably, again, less than a foot long and um, not the three or four miles that it portrays here in the, um, the picture. So just keep that in mind. Don't get, you know, overwhelmed, nothing like that because there's no need to. And you got to remember too, all this is just because you can't put, you know, a thousand wires going to one little section. So it really can't be life size. Okay. So now we're going to deal, I think hopefully the last wire of this bunch, it is coming off the back side again it is another black wire. Let's put the uh, little magnifying glass on this. Let's see where this wire is going to lead off to. It's going to go down. I probably should have, uh, what's it called? I probably should have found, you know, did a little bit of homework before I did this video, but I'm here. We're going to get this out. So there's no big deal. Okay. So let's find out where, why didn't this, come on. Why didn't this have a, uh, let me check here real quick because I didn't see a millimeter wire size. So let me let me try to um, see what's going on here. Okay, there is no millimeter uh, size in this particular wire. So let me, I know it's the same size as this one. Let me check just to make sure and verify. That is, this, okay, it is a 0.5 um, millimeter wire. It is the same because I, I've already wired this so I know firsthand. So 0.5 millimeter would be 22 gauge. Yeah, 22 gauge. So let me get back up here real quick, guys, and um, scroll over. There you go. So back to the wire that we we're talking about. This is a 22 gauge wire. And this is going to go into, give me one second here, guys. Okay, so this particular wire is going to go into the fan motor, uh, fan motor switch, which is actually on the dashboard itself. It's that little tiny little circle that's on top that we probably don't even know is even there or what it's even used for. But that's what this black wire is going to be hooked into. So we're going to scroll back here. We know that this is a 0.5 millimeter wire even though it doesn't say it because I've I've uh, dealt with this wire actually in person already so I can make that statement so that is going to put us back into the number 10 fuse again so um, 
I don't see any other wires that jump wires or anything else. So I guess that's the end of this video. As always, guys, like, comment, subscribe, thumbs up, thumbs down, leave a comment or don't share the video or don't. Like I said, I do these videos to help you guys out to build my confidence. So it's a win win for everybody. And uh, don't worry about having to memorize this, these numbers, these video, these um, numbers, these any kind of information because it's going to be left in the bio below the conversion charts, the uh, size of the fuses. It's all going to be left down below. So um, as always, guys, the most important part of this video, God bless you. God bless your family. God bless our great nation that we live in here in the U.S. Um, like I said, just um, be a better person. Have a great day. We'll catch you on the next video. The next video will be on car. And we'll be explaining the exact same things, but actually touching these wires and um, showing you that these wires aren't three or four miles long. So don't get over, you know, excited. It's just nothing to worry about. We'll get through it. If you have any comments or if you have any questions about anything, comment below. I'll be more than happy to get back to you. So have a great day and we'll catch you on the next video, guys.